Hey, there could be more of that in the next couple of days. This is video of yesterday's hailstorm in North Richland Hills. Yeah, we had a lot of you folks share photos and videos of that first round of storms that came through yesterday, up to quarter size hail from some folks. Good morning and thank you for waking up with us. I'm Mark Isto. And I'm Kara Sol, so we can't rule out the chance for more hail today as we track storms this week. Greg Fields with us. Okay, so we've got an active weather week. Uh, what are our chances today? Yeah, severe weather threat is much lower than it was yesterday right. across the area. And uh, not everyone will see the uh, storms. They won't be as widespread, so kind of isolated in nature with that potential for the storms. That's going to come late in the day. Now heading out the door this morning, we are looking at some patchy areas of fog. We'll get you out to a love field. It's not going to be real widespread. Again, the em em emphasis on the word patchy with the uh, fog this morning. 64 degrees. That's a mild start. And those temperatures, they will be soaring well up above normal, close to a record high with that later today. But as we look at the uh, foggy conditions across the area, again, as you get out toward Denton, it's under a half mile there for you. Weatherford still looking at zero visibility, but it uh, improves coming into the uh, Metroplex, Fort Worth, Grand Prairie, over to Dallas. Plano, though, getting up to a uh, Salina under a half mile with that visibility out there. So again, the fog in some places, keep that in mind. The temperatures, they are going to be mild. Upper 60s getting out to Arlington and Grand Prairie, along with Louisville, all at 68, 67 in Frisco and looking at 66 heading out to Springtown. So as you go through the day, we will have that chance late in the day for those thunderstorms to fire up once again. Coverage though, only about 20%. So the air risk is going to be on the lower end today. Coverage as well. So about a 20% coverage late in the day, but check out that high. Southwest winds 15 to 20, going to get those temperatures into the upper 80s as we head toward 1 o'clock in the afternoon and then coming home later today. Yes, we are looking at a forecast high somewhere around 90 as we head into this afternoon. So yes, it will be quite warm today. That will be the case tomorrow with maybe another round of thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and evening. And then much cooler air moves in for the latter half of the week. 